guys. So. I know that all our colleagues on both sides of the aisle want to keep the government funded and attend to a number of other urgent priorities. I'm confident we can work together to do just that. But will they? The focus on the Hill this hour is avoiding a government shutdown. Some Republicans argue they would vote against any bill that reauthorizes parts of the FISA law. They argue that law allows the government to spy on other Americans. And Senator Rand Paul has been a doubter on this law for seven years. Member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. And, sir, welcome back here. Good morning to you. And, uh, and a Thanks Merry for Christmas to you. You bet. You, you look well. Are you well now since? You know, I'm, I'm doing better. I had a, a really difficult five or six weeks. I still am in in pain, but it gets better every day. All right, well, hang in there, okay? Nice to see you back here. You got a big problem with the FISA law. Are you willing to shut down the government if it's not well, I'm never drafted the way you want it? <laughs> well, I'm never a fan of shutting down government, so that's not my intention. I am a fan of defending the Bill of Rights, though, and it's pretty important. Right now, we have a spy program that spies on foreigners. I'm okay with that. But it collects a lot of information on Americans. They won't even tell us how much, but we think millions of phone calls, millions of emails, millions of internet searches are caught up in this huge database, and it should not be used on Americans without constitutional protections. Right now, our fear is that they can sort through all this information and accuse you of a domestic crime, but you don't get the protection of the Fourth Amendment or of the Constitution. So this is very, very troubling, and we think you should, at the very least, have a warrant to search that database, and really since it's collected with a less than constitutional standard, it really shouldn't be used for domestic crime. It should be used for what it was intended to be used to try to prevent foreign terrorists from attacking so, us. We were on this argument a lot, you know, during the debate of the election of 2016, during the primary season especially. If the law, not to mince words here, but if the law was written as temporary, would you support that? I think if we can agree to debate it, right now they're trying to conflate it or put it together with a spending bill, and so they say, oh, it's going to shut, government's going to shut down, we have to pass this. This is a trick of Washington to try to pass things without debate. This spy program needs to be debated. It's about the Bill of Rights. We need to allow amendments, and Senator Wyden and I across the aisle have come together. We have about 10, 15 amendments that we want to have debated and discussed, and we want the Fourth Amendment to apply to Americans. We don't want Americans caught up in our uh, really honest uh, fight against terrorism. We don't want Americans to lose their privileges or their rights as a consequence. Well, specifically on the spending bill and government shutdown here, I, I know what your position is, but you, you sound like you, you've got a lot of hoops to jump through to get you to, <laughs> to vote in favor. Yeah, I think what's going to happen is there's going to be a short-term extension, like a month, which is much better. I'd rather debate it now. I would rather have debated it all year long, as we've been calling for, but a short-term extension is okay. I will absolutely filibuster any long-term extension. They try to do it for a year, they try to do it for four years, or they try to do it forever, which some of them want. There needs to be more oversight. And I think this recent controversy with the intelligence community, there's now allegations that both in the FBI and in the Department of Justice, there basically was collusion to try to prevent Donald Trump from becoming president. This kind of group of people that has such enormous power needs more oversight, not less oversight. That is a strong statement. What's your evidence to back it up, Senator? Well, we have now the FBI, we have an FBI agent talking to his mistress and then also saying Andy, that we met together in this office to discuss basically ways to have an insurance policy that Donald Trump doesn't get elected. I think that that uh, should be a fireable offense and sounds like collusion. But then you also have the Department of Justice where you have a high ranking official whose wife works for the group doing opposition research on Trump being paid for by the Democrat National Committee. That sounds like a lot of high ranking people colluding to try to prevent Donald Trump from being president. You know, we've had this investigation about Russian collusion. Maybe we need an investigation about high-ranking Obama officials colluding to try to prevent Trump from being president. That's more serious than even Watergate. Um, sir, uh, thank you for your time. It's something to watch clearly. Senator Rand Paul, nice to see you thank back you. on your feet. Sound thank like you. you got your fight back. <laughs> I got it back, I think. Thanks. Thank you for being here. Senator Rand Paul on the Hill. 930.